right, we are in front of this 2017 open range light 272 RLS. This was just traded in and it was very well taken care of. This has a very nice interior. It's got two rooftop air conditioners and it also has a custom island piece that you will see shortly. Around front, we've got typical stuff. Uh, you can hook up a bumper pool style here. There is a Blue Ox stabilizer system, electric rays on that lift piece right there. Um, we've also got our main battery located there um, and then our two propane tanks inside this housing. It's 11 and a half feet tall and about 35 feet long. So nice size too, not too big, not too small, just right. Now up here, we've got a full pass-through storage compartment. All of the storage compartments have these nifty little magnets that hold them out of the way. There's LED lighting back in here. You just click the button to turn them on. Got these tools just in case. There are four electric stabilizers on the unit. The two in the front are controlled with this button right here. And then the two in the back are controlled with another button that's just like that um, on the back uh, behind the slide. Now this is our furnace output here. We've also got our 50 amp power plug cord. There's a little bit, a tiny bit of damage right here. Pretty minor for the most part. Comes free of charge. And if it really bothers you, we have a body shop. Uh, you know, you can work something out. But anyways, down here is our dump. So this is where you're going to dump your tanks. This has a 30 gallon black tank or 31 gallon black tank, a 57 gallon fresh tank and a 50 gallon gray tank. Now this is our propane hot water heater. This is a six gallon hot water heater. It also has an electric element in it. So you can heat it with no propane. Now this is where we have our main connections going on. We've got an outside shower here um, with a hose connected to it, which I kind of like. Connections for auxiliary satellites and cable. Um, and you've also got a nice black tank flush. That is nice. Now we've got 255, 17 and a half R15 tires. We've got nice 15 inch rims um, with pretty much brand new tires around all of them. So four new tires on this unit and it looks quite nice. Now the slide is in good shape. Um, small little scratch right there. All the windows are flush, frameless windows that all vent out, um, which is quite nice. There's also slide out toppers on our slide outs, which is a nice option. Now this back here is our rear control for our rear two stabilizers. We've got our rear bumper here um, with diamond plating on it. This is where you can store your sewer tank hose. And then you've got a nice firm ladder. Let's go take a peek at that roof. All right, we are up on this roof and it is super clean. There's a nice little shaping to it. Um, so the water will naturally roll off and then into your gutters. The front cap is excellent. The seals look good. No clear coat coming off here. This is our front air conditioner, which has a clean shroud, no cracks or anything like that on it. Got some free of charge dust and dirt, but no cracks. This is our uh, digital local TV antenna. Exhaust vents for the tanks look good. This is a nice extra piece over the exhaust fan in the bathroom. Shower has a um, nice clean skylight, no cracks or anything like that on the skylight. Same for the skylight in the kitchen. Look at the top of the slide out too. Yes, there is some dirt there, but we're looking at the genuine condition, the real condition of this coach. Um, and that top of that slide out looks perfect. It's not starting to have issues around the edges. It's not rippling. Looks good. Slide out topper is in good shape as well. We've got a clean slide out topper, no tears starting to form, nothing like that. Rear cap is in good shape. This is a well taken care of unit. This rear air conditioner shroud is also in good shape. No cracks. No holes, nothing like that. This is a good looking roof. Um, there is some dirt, yes. But even without us having cleaned, we haven't even cleaned this roof. This is how we got it. You can tell it's taken care of. Now back down on the bottom here, we've got LED taillights, big flush windows that vent out, 
camera already mounted up there and super clean uh, unit looks really nice now this slide out doesn't have a topper i think i was mistaken because i saw a topper on the other side but it does have an awning um, that is right above the slide out so you can just pop your electric awning out um, when it rains now there are little gutters on the sides of the coach um, and this is where we've got a nifty little setup so lift this up out of the way lift this up out of the way and we've got a full outside kitchen slide this out outside sink little backsplash there so stuff doesn't get back in there nice dual burner stove and uh yeah this is nice love having an outside kitchen look at that bottle opener <laughs> this is set up to party um, there's even a refrigerator over here a little outside refrigerator um looks like an ice tray so you can make ice right there pretty easily little storage this is where you can mount a tv you've got all your connections here satellite cable put a tv right there cabinets down below or drawers i should say down below and extra little countertop space um, to help you out while you're cooking this is where you can prepare stuff set up to have some fun and enjoy nature and then get away from nature when you want to pop inside the coach this is the back of our refrigerator here refrigerator ventilation big triple entrance step here um, nice door i love the window on the door We've got our electric awning out here as mentioned so you just push a button and it pops out that electric awning does have an led strip on it there's an extra little security light out here um, and then we've got outside speakers as well uh, so nice setup and by the way this is the other side of our pass-through storage compartment let's go take a peek at how you can escape from nature after you're done enjoying it out here all right we are on the interior of this coach and we've got one heck of a butcher block island um, the gentleman who traded this in really knew what he was doing when it came to crafting wood and this is a custom island piece that has been um, put in place along with a butcher block sink cover um, that covers our nice dual stainless sink we've also got a nice upgraded faucet here and this is some of the most beautiful woodwork i've seen on any island in any coach hands down what a nice uh cover there it's pretty dense but it's not super heavy because it's it's wood um but it's just beautifully done anyways i'm gonna try not to spend too much time blabbing about this island because we've got all kinds of nice drawers here we've got cabinets down below um we've got our extra storage under the sink as well as the water pump down below it and then there are four um, nice sliding drawers here. Very nice rollers um, with nice locking mechanisms too. Not the plastic type. Nothing wrong with the plastic type. I just think these can uh, last longer. All right, big long drawers over here across the way from the island. Um, we do have a RV refrigerator over here. I've got some of our drinks and my phone in there chilling. Runs off of electric or gas, freezer up top. And then extra countertop space across from our Butcher Block Island. Um, there are outlets everywhere. We've got outlets on the island, outlets over here across from the island, and extra countertop space here. So a chef's dream um, of a kitchen setup. Up above the countertop over here, we've got uh, more storage. We've got a stainless um, microwave, nice little exhaust fan, an extra light, three burner gas stove here, nice gas oven down below. Big window back there, by the way, it's currently covered up, but uh, those windows actually vent out, as mentioned on the outside. But this is our little pantry space here that we've got on the right side of our stove. Good bit of extra space. And while we're in this area, I like the uh, little light plaque etched in wood up here. It's a nice touch. And the slide outs um, have these little accent pieces on the corners of the slide out too, which is pretty nice. All right. So to the right of our kitchen space, we've got our entertainment center that is in the living room where we've got two other couches, including some recliners. There's a nice fireplace down there, which is slick. It'll also put out some heat. Now there's a little bit of storage here. Um, there's also a nice big TV, sound bar, radio, and this will actually raise up out of the way, revealing a bunch of extra storage back there. 
um, as well as easy access to all the connections to the TV. You can add a gaming system back there, um, whatever you'd like, pretty easily. We've got our big main couch here in the back. Super comfortable. All the furniture is finished in this like uh, suede leather type material. It's really nice. It feels soft, it feels plush, and it also feels pretty durable. There is a little bit of countertop space on each side of the couch. There's a big window behind me. The curtains are pretty tasteful too. Now this has vent out windows everywhere, um, and this will turn into a bed. There's actually a hair of storage underneath here, but this goes flat and voila, there we go. We've got what looks to be the queen size bed right there in your couch already cushioned up and everything. You can throw a sheet over it, whatever. No air mattresses to deal with. Which of course, always a pro and a con with uh, a lot of things, or many pros and cons. And all of these pillows are in excellent condition. We've got um, little Velcro pieces that go on the back and it's pretty good working Velcro, as you can see. I really like this material on these furniture pieces, including this recliner right here because the material is so refreshing. You really don't get this kind of material in a lot of coaches. You get that typical vinyl stuff or even leather maybe and uh, really high end units. But this material is just soft plush. And as I mentioned, it feels pretty durable. And both of these, uh, of course, recline. So you just pop this out there. Uh, so super comfortable. There's also a bit of storage in between the two recliners as well as two cup holders. There's LED lighting here. I like that they uh, gave us a nice fixture up here. It looks nice in addition to those LED reading lights. Now this is our dinette. This will of course turn into a bed as well. Same situation on the material, very good condition. Amazing, no tears, no nothing. Countertop is looking good. We've got two poles holding up this dinette. More bent out windows. There's an emergency escape hatch right there. So you can pop that sucker out and jump out the coach if you need to. There is storage up here too. I didn't even mention it. So above all of the furniture, the dinette, the recliner, and the big main couch, we've got these big, nice um, storage compartments that are bigger than what they look like. Um, at least these are. And those are pretty good size over there too. And they have these nice glass inserts. They look really slick. All right, that flooring is continued. We've got this vinyl flooring that continues up on the slide. Easy to keep clean. Um, this is the control for our air conditioning system. We've got two rooftop air conditioners on this coach. And in here is where our main control center is. Below the main control center, we've got like a coat closet. Um, and up above that coat closet is where the control center is. So you got your slide out control, um, you've got your water pump control, you've got a bunch of light switches for outside lights, um, and you've also got your propane water heater as well as the electric element in that propane water heater. And of course, awning light switch. And this is the control for the exhaust fan in the kitchen. Um, this is your awning control. And then of course you can check your tanks here. And it's pretty cool because it has a level alert. So it'll start blinking to tell you, hey, one of your tanks is at some kind of excess or minimum. Um, and it'll light up right there and blink, so you don't even have to check anything. Right now, we've got one of our tanks full, and it's flashing every once in a while to let us know, hey, one of your tanks is full. Or at a threshold where a warning would light, a warning light would come on and you should investigate your tanks. That's actually a really nice feature. Now in here is our bathroom area. We've got an entire free roll of toilet paper that comes with this coach. Very generous, I know. And here we've got our big shower. Uh, to the left of the shower, we've got a bunch of extra storage. And then, uh, let me step in the shower. There's a glass enclosure here. And I could tell just from eyeballing this, this is a big shower. And now that I'm in here, this is a really good size shower. Holy cow. I mean, really good size. Really good size shower. Big, nice shower head here. Looks upgraded. Little storage racks and uh, yeah. Sunlight up above, glass enclosure feels nice. If you forget your face wash while you're in here, you can reach over to this medicine cabinet, um, which just has some face. It's a little cabinet there behind the mirror, the vanity mirror. And then we've got our faucet, sink, little uh, toothbrush holder, nice set of outlets. And then there's a bunch of extra storage underneath here too. That's a good size toilet. It's a porcelain toilet. 
and it's not like some of those super tiny RV toilets that you'll see. It's not massive, but it's not tiny. It's a good size. There's an exhaust fan in here too, and I really like this curved wall. I don't know, there's something about curved walls that feel real nice. Now you come out, and um, by the way, I love that the door has this big window on it. That is really nice. More natural light, the better. Now I'll take a step back into the bedroom lair. First of all, this door looks nice. It's got this nice tempered glass accent piece in it. There's a magnet that holds it on the door. Um, curved wall again, air conditioner control for the bedroom AC or the front AC, because this is all ducted air conditioning. So if you have both of them on, they will both contribute to cooling the entire uh, unit. Now there's a nice mirror here. This is very thoughtful. Um, that's a full body mirror. I can see everything. I'm standing right here. I can even get, yeah, it's a full body mirror. You can see your entire body, unless you're like much taller than me. I'm 5'11", to give you reference. Now in here, we've got our big queen bed here. Um, at the foot of our bed, we've got a bunch of storage. This is a big wardrobe, extra rack up top. It's not even a rack, it's a full shelf up top. And then there are three little drawers here. One, two, three. And then one big drawer here on the bottom. That is a big, deep drawer. Now there is excellent walk space on both sides of this bed. We've got nice window here, extra little um, mini wardrobes on each side. So you've got a rack up top. Then you've got these huge countertops on both sides with a drawer, so lots of extra little countertop space there. Reading lights here, which you can point. Nice little shelf up top here. Two extra um, cabinets there with those glass inserts. These, of course, have mirrors, and this is a nice setup. There's also a nice upgraded Roku Smart TV on the wall, right above our emergency window. But this is all safely um, and easily stowed away. Once you unclip it, you can pull it out and move it wherever you like. Get it out there in the right spot. Um, you got easy access to all the connections on it. And it's a smart TV. This is a sweet setup, nice bedroom, looks fantastic. Is there storage underneath? There's storage underneath, look at that. That's sweet. Lot of storage underneath. Oh, with the sliding tray, look at that. So you can slide that. Big extra storage underneath the bed. And with that, let's go get it on the road and test drive it. Gosh, that's my old lame joke. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one and look forward to it.